Hello, space Energy engineers. Low. Welcome back to another episode of Far From Home. I'd like to, uh, while I hop around here on one foot, I, I'd like to thank those who have been uh, watching and uh, commenting. Uh, I appreciate uh, all the encouragement. And um, from this point on, uh, there isn't going to be pre-recorded videos, so all the uh, all the comments anybody leaves, I'll, I'll be able to uh, potentially take action on in the next episode. You know, um, use people's suggestions and things. So uh, all the com, yeah, <laughs> all the comments are welcome, and um, let's get into it. I hope you enjoy the show. So we're getting ready to attach the two ships together right now. And uh, one of the things, this is gonna be the back of the ship. So I'm gonna take this thruster off of here and move it back there. And then we're gonna get rid of this entire conveyor line here, which will give, which will give us a bunch of nickel, which we need. And uh, then we're gonna move this thruster here, this little guy. Uh, right there. So let's get to it. Oh, it's still a station. It's detached, but it's still a station. Okay. Well, let's see here. Can we... Uh, we, we can't. That's interesting. Okay. Well, um, let's see here. Yeah. Right. It's... Right. It's, it's still a, a station. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's get this thing on here and uh, get this part over with. Okay. all this extra directional thrust to the speedman here because I think it's going to be pretty hard to maneuver this station well this ship to get it connected up over here I just think that's going to be a challenge so I thought you guys might want to have a look at the uh resources that I have available right now. I uh, need to take stock of what I have to see what I can do. So I thought I'd show you. That's nice.
it has been a minute since I have been playing Space Engineers. And um, now that we're getting back into things here, um, what we're doing right now, and for you this is probably the same episode as it, you know as earlier, but um, what we're doing here is we are going to attach the rest of the Prometheus over there that I've been modifying to make it to make it the rest of the ship so I can have thrust in all directions. And we're gonna um, we're gonna glue this onto it. So in order to do that, we need to upgrade the, the speedman here. I mean, we don't have to, but I just really want to so that um, I don't have as much trouble maneuvering the large pieces. Um, I'm a little worried about getting the weld plates to line up because I had some problems when I was um, trying to salvage that red ship. Um, I, I was trying to weld one piece to another so that I could um, take it all back at once and it just wasn't having any of it. I, I couldn't seem to get it aligned, so. Just doing a bunch of greebling grieb on this at the moment. Um, I'm not going to finish these thrusters down here just because I'm worried about the nickel. But I definitely needed to get these extra um, adjustment directional type thrusters on here um, because that's that's my biggest issue is stopping the, the movement. Okay, well, hello, space engineers. Quite a lot, ha quite a lot has happened since the last recording. Quite a bit of progress has been made getting this ship together. So we changed our minds, or, or I changed my mind, and um, decided to make the Prometheus, the, or what's left of it here, um, part of the ship proper and uh and not to like cut it up and salvage so like i took the hydrogen tank that i had way off on the side it was uh way out uh way out there i took that hydrogen tank and put it in there and um moved a bunch of thrusters around so i moved all these well i moved a couple of them and some of them i made and then uh, I reversed this thruster over here so I took that long conveyor out and moved the thruster around to the back here so this is supposed to be the back of the ship um, I would have liked to have shown you the maneuvering to get to this position because it took a long time it took a long time to turn this big thing with uh, with the speedman, uh, and that's something else that I've been doing here. So I've been working on uh, greebling the speedman, and uh, we've given it a little more thrust. Um, I wanted it to make it easier to move this big object around because uh, in the past I had problems getting the weld pads lined up. So. She has twice as much thrust, or he, I guess Tug is a he, has twice as much thrust as he had before, and he has a paint job started. And the greebling is, uh, is started. Obviously, uh, just started. <laughs> I, uh, I just got bored, you know. Sometimes, you know, it can be a little tedious. Your brain has to work kind of hard to put all these shapes together, and then half the time, you don't like it, and, you know, all that. So, anyways, uh, this is the second time I have done this part because, um, well, I just am a little sometimes. Um, 
Hmm, that's not a YouTube word. I am a little challenged sometimes when it comes to all the responsibilities related to um, producing a space engineer show for YouTube. One of those responsibilities, turning on the recording. So hopefully I did that this time and I'm not just talking to you again for no reason. I just thought it would be cool to record this part. Oh. We are one big ship now. <laughs> okay. So. So now the hacking computer is taking control of all of the rest of the blocks over there on the Prometheus, at least the ones that um, are uh, functional. You know, it's not going to do that for the non-functional ones. So let's go check out that progress. Hacking initiated. Uh, okay, cool. So there's at least four hydrogen tanks still. Th this, there are like nine, like nine hydrogen tanks that are somewhat full at this point. It's a little ridiculous. I think I've got to grind that down. And I might as well grind down that antenna while I'm at it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's go deal with some of that stuff while well, this is hacking away. Oh, yeah, and uh, let's see here what's the threat score. Not bad. So I'm gonna go take care of some of that stuff, uh, tidying things up. And uh, I'll get back with you guys when I'm done with that, unless something interesting happens. I have to say, this whole, um, I have to say this whole building while the ship is moving business is not something I've done before, and quite honestly, I am a bit freaked out. <laughs> uh, so, we'll see what happens. I'm going to try and build a ship right now. We'll see how that works. So I'm trying to place this small grid connector here and then weld it so that uh, it'll just connect to, uh, to the large grid one here. What? That's kind of weird. Why is it moving faster? So all of this trying to line this connector up while we're moving all this ridiculous silliness, it's just, <laughs> it was not, <laughs> it was not a good idea. Um, and it, it turns out that the, uh, the reason that that thing was moving faster than the ship is because, um, there's another ship here and that ship has its dampeners turned on, which I'm figuring out right about now. So there's uh, there's nothing like trying it again. Uh, I mean, theoretically, it should work just fine. 
theoretically. I bet I just have to give it, oh, no, didn't even have to nudge it. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I'm finally getting this to work. Okay, so what I'm going to build here with this, what I'm going to use this for, is that I need a welding ship because I'm going to build some hull on this thing. I'm going to build some of the hull and um, the new hull. And I don't want to carry all the materials around. So I'm going to make a ship to do that for me, but I'm not even going to make a ship. What I'm going to make is more like a pod. Okay, so God, that's so weird. Okay, so what we need is some cargo and a welder, basically. Kind of disconcerting, the ship keeps moving around here. So really what we want on this thing, what we're doing here is, I'm just, um, I'm making something that the Speedman can pick up that, um, and then use it, carry it around and use it to do the welding. Okay, okie dokie. Energy low. Just going to put a little um, pad on the back here to uh, connect the speed into. A little weird when the ship is moving. I'm actually really excited to get a uh, gravity generator on board. Okay. Now I know what I'm doing is dangerous because I'm basically going to add an antenna. Actually, you know, I don't know if I need to add an antenna. Hmm. Maybe my suit antenna is good enough. So we got all that set up. This guy is all ready for us to uh, use him. And um, we just need some stuff to weld. So I'm going to lay out some of the frame for um, like a um, 
like in here, this section of the ship here, I want to make into like a big hangar. So I'm going to work on some of the shape of the hull around that section. Before I start working on the hull, I'm going to uh, see if I can reduce clanginess by uh, working on working on this. So, uh, you guys haven't seen this yet, but, um, and this may be where some of the clang is coming from. Uh, this guy had a little accident. Um, at some point I was gluing um, one piece of ship to the other and something happened with the uh, connector distance or whatever and the connector or the ship phased into the connector for the other ship and this guy's connector blew up and took out a bunch of the internals. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this ship is jiggling around. And I wonder if it has something loose in it or something. I mean, it did kind of get blown up. Man, I don't know what is going on. I think there's some, still some clang somewhere in this mess. We're gonna get on with trying to lay out some of this hull though. So the most important part at first is to just uh, to connect the two halves of the ship together a little bit better. See that? That's clang. The fact that that's moving over there, to me that means that this whole ship is fussing around a little bit. But I still don't know what the problem is. Okay, so... This is the basics of what's going on with my uh, garage and uh, docking bay that's going to be part of the ship. Um, but I'm, I'm basically planning on having this giant cavernous space to house uh, all my different ships and stuff. Um, until we are no longer heading. Uh, I mean, we are heading straight towards home, but our ship does not facing straight towards home. Um, I think that's because of the clang issues that we were having. And I don't know if we're still having them or not. Uh, I think that we are. I think that that fighter craft that got all messed up is still just kind of clanging around down there somehow, but I have not played space engineers for um, a long time, or at least not played. Uh, I just haven't played this far from home for a long time. And, um, and that's fine. I've had a lot of time to think about things. We're, we're moving, by the way, we're moving at uh, 20 meters a second uh, towards, uh, towards home. So that's good. So I've been thinking a bit and, you know, this is here to, uh, it's here to defend ourselves. And uh, it's mostly, uh, you know, non-functional at the moment. We could uh, repair it. Uh, we could repair it. But 
but I think I'm going to try and use things that are less expensive uh, to defend myself, like um, some drones, perhaps. So, because we have lost the system now uh, in terms of recycling, uh, because of the four yield yield modules we have on the refinery. Um, I think I'm just going to uh, grind this down, uh, recover the PCU and uh, resources. Um, and I've thought about this thing quite a bit, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot easier to use this if I change, uh, change what I'm doing. And, uh, Put a connector on it and use the connector to connect my ship to it um, instead of the uh, weld pad. The weld pad instead of the magnetic plate. So I'm just going to plop a connector just right here. So we're going to grind some of this off of here. Uh, 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 all of it. We're going to grind all of this off of here because we don't. We don't need it anymore. Ugh. I mean, I would love to have a... Uh... It doesn't matter. I think I actually want another cargo container. Uh, oh, except I can't unless I destroy the welder. Okay. I'm not sure how I'm going to get this to work out exactly, so uh, I'll come back when I've figured that out. This is our um, this is our setup here for the uh, welding pod. I think I can get in here with a speedman and connect to it. I think, and. Um, we are going to try and weld up some of this stuff. I am not convinced that I'm going to do this, this, um, lower part here, but maybe I'll just weld it up for now since I, uh, I just need to do something. To connect things a little bit better. And, uh, you know, to give me a general idea of what's going on. And I seem to have tons of steel plate, so... Um, we're going to slow the ship down, just because I... Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with uh, trying to pick this pot up and all that. Um, what the heck is going on? What is that? Oh. Why is that just here? I guess it's moving. Okay. Of a cool uh... that's kind of a cool looking ship here. Wow. It's, like it's easy to blow in the two halves. And, uh, that's not even finished, so that's kind of a problem. But...
Okay, well, we're we're just gonna go home then. Okay, so anyways, back to our um, regularly scheduled programming. We are gonna give this a go with this uh, welder here. And uh, we're gonna get the ship moving just a little bit to uh, sort of practice. That's good. We're gonna practice with this. You know, I need to make a, uh, I need to make a grinder module for speed uh, so that I can uh, grind that thing up. Or maybe I'll uh, put it on the back side of there. I guess I could do that. Anyways, let's see what let's see what we got going on here. Uh, uh, I need to turn my thrusters on. Uh, yeah. Okay, we need that. I need to turn some of these off. Um, not look like such a great idea. <laughs> Maybe I should have put it on the side instead of the bottom. So I want to be able to see what I'm welding. Yeah, I should have done that. Alright, well let's let's see how this works. I can't see what I'm doing at all. This is terrible. Um, yeah, this is terrible. Uh, this is really terrible. Because I can't see anything at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna... Uh, I just need to stop everything. I just need to get out, and I need to stop everything, and I need to rejigger that business. Ugh. Well, supposedly we are stops now, so um, I'm gonna unlock that. We gotta pull this out to be able to work on it. So uh, first thing we're gonna do here is uh, get it disconnected. Um, we just need to have some uh, space away from the, away from the rest of the ship here. So I thought this was kind of interesting. I ground that off and now there are some kind of forces at play that are twisting this ship and um, they really only rectify themselves when I unlock and then uh, relock the mag plate. And the minute I relock it, it's fine. There's no more phantom forces. So something about changing uh, the mass or shape of the speedman um, 
cause those phantom forces. Something about the mag plate. So weird. And I'll do another test, or I'll try to do this again when I'm moving, uh, when everything's moving. But I think this first time, uh, we're just going to... Uh, the way does that work better? It doesn't work that much better. I just can't really see. I need a welding camera is what I freaking need. I need a welding camera. Okay, well, let's, let's do that. Yeah, so let's do it uh, right, uh, right here, I guess. Let's use one of these new cameras. Yeah, there we go. So, oh yeah, can we just get the parts for that? Oh, rock on. Okay, and that's, that's our right side up. Okay. Oh man, are we finally ready to, finally ready to do this? Uh, let's see here. So, let's see if we can get some supplies in here. Oh, we got some stuff in there. That's interesting. Uh, let's just throw all this in here. Okay, that should be plenty of steel plates for what we're doing, so um, let's give this a go. Uh, let's get, uh, let's get out of here. Okay, that's good enough. Let's switch to the weld cam. Apparently we need a little more gyro with all this weight on board. Well, this goes. Especially with just uh, the batteries on the speedman here powering the welder. Maybe I have a center of mass issue. Maybe that's what's going on with gyros on these sheets. So. Some center of mass considerations. What is going on with them? Okay, it's on. Well, this is working okay. So I think this has been easier, easier and cheaper than building a separate welding ship. Um, but uh, guess we'll find out. No, it's definitely been easy. It's definitely been cheaper. Um, I don't know if it's easier or not. interesting that center of mass concerns aren't really a big deal when you have um, a ship, one ship, but when you have another ship connected to that ship, now center of gravity is, center of mass is now like a major issue.
Wow, used up half of it already? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not quite what I expected. Um, let's, uh, let's work on some of the stuff that we know we need to do over here. Wow, we are almost out of hydrogen. Uh, that was almost a uh, pretty bad mistake there. Good thing we have a mostly unlimited supply of that. At least considering what this ship is going to be used by itself. Well, that was pretty terrible. Well, I'd say that weld pod worked out pretty good. We got uh, all that framework welded up. Well, we've traveled uh, we've traveled like 150 kilometers uh, towards home, which is great progress. Um, the ship's starting to take some shape here, and it's uh, at least got a couple of points of contact. So it's not going to just fall apart. And um, while we've been sitting here doing all this welding, um, a uh, Space pirate signal has uh, a mayday has popped up over the right shoulder of the ship there, and uh, I want to go over there and uh, salvage whatever wreck is over there. So there's probably going to be, um, you know, meanies over there, bad uh, space pirate Gatling turrets and whatever. So. Uh, and they're probably going to send drones if I go over there and uh, irritate them. So we're going to have to prepare for all that stuff. Um, I'd like to deal with some of that by using drones. I think that'll be the cheapest way to uh, engage whatever's over there. And uh, I think it'll be fun to uh, mess around with the automation blocks. So we're probably going to grind down that old fighter we have there so we can use that to build our drones. We're probably going to um, build out some more protection around these hydrogen tanks. And uh, 
we're probably going to fix that Gatling gun. Maybe we'll build another one. So, um, hopefully, there'll be all that next episode. And uh, I'd love to see you then. <laughs>